I, I remember uh, the trailer for this podcast. You mentioned some very controversial things that will make people angry or, or, or uh, stir up some controversy. So you're saying that there's two pieces of advice in the world. On the one hand, it's the mainstream advice. Everyone listens to it and it is hurting men. And that's why 99% of men get, can't get those movie star bodies, that movie star physique. Then on the other hand, it's what the movie stars are following. It's the, the dark hidden advice. One works really well. The movie stars get these crazy transformations in record time. But the other one, which is the mainstream, is hurting men. And you've discovered what that movie star advice is and you've applied it to yourself. I mean, this is quite the controversy because most guys are following the, the, the bad advice. So if I'm saying something wrong, let me know, because this is uh, quite the revolution. Uh, <laughs> No, yeah. I mean, you said everything exactly 100% correct. That's exactly what I'm saying. There's people that are following one thing that uh, they think the mainstream advice will work for them. And then there's people following advice that's not necessarily the right way to approach things. And they see that with movie stars, like you said. So that's exactly what I'm saying. Very interesting. Now, you're going to piss off a lot of people here because you're not just saying they're, they're different, but you're saying that the mainstream advice is the complete opposite of what works. Right. And um, so honestly, I'm so sick of all the mainstream BS, like everyone else, like all of these different fake health experts and bro science YouTubers sharing the wrong info or sharing, sharing the same info that people have heard over and over and people just spin their wheels hurts a lot of guys. And it's truly a huge waste of time. I fell for it way before uh, with clever marketing. I can mention some names, but I probably won't hear uh, you guys have all seen it as well but I'm here to give the truth and speak about what directly will help guys get the results that they need. That's it. So if we're gonna upset a few fake health experts, then that's just what we gotta do. Wow, man, I, I'm super excited. So this is getting quite juicy. You're saying that the transformation that you've done from a chubby kid to a male model is basically following what the movie stars follow and you're going to tell us all of this today on the podcast? Yeah, 100%. So, I mean, I've fallen into the traps as well. So it's not like I knew exactly what to do straight away. But through challenging the advice that everyone gives out, I was able to carve a path and find a way. And that's what we'll be covering. So you can ask me anything you want. Total open book. Okay. When you see The Rock, Superman, Wolverine, these guys, are they just like following keto or vegan? Uh, or, you know, carnivore, some shit like that? What? No. Um, I, well, I mean, they are following a lot of these fad diets, and they will say that for sure, too. And, I mean, it's hard to believe. But some of them, I believe, the guy that played Wolverine, he was talking about how he did keto. Even uh, Zac Efron was talking about how he was doing keto. And it seems like they always pick these because they're trendy at the time. Hmm. But they're kind of holding some things back. <laughs> oh, really? So, That's Because that was the next question I was going to ask you. Uh, yeah. Because we always wonder that the movie stars, they never mention natural or not. Or I even if they're asked, they just say, oh, yeah, of course it's natural. So is it natural? <laughs> no. And a lot, of <laughs> the, the, a lot of what you can tell in their face, which is why I'm pulling up their faces specifically, is it shows things like growth hormone usage. 